This video shows how to create interactive engineering reports using Paraview plus Microsoft Word reporting for combining both into an interactive 3D PDF report. First, start Microsoft Word, open an existing report document, add a placeholder image for where the 3D will go, place it anywhere within the layout of the document, and then also add an optional legend where a color bar can be used to illustrate to mark the values of any properties that are in the 3D window. Once the legend is placed, wherever you'd like that nearby the 3D view, go to the menus of the right mouse click over the images and set the alt text values. For the 3D view, set the alt text value to PDF 3D1. and then select the legend and make the equivalent change to the alt text, this time using legend1, both in uppercase. Once that's done, we can save the document by doing save as a PDF, select the file type, type PDF, and then save, and then preview the resulting PDF. Using the mouse to hover over the images will reveal the tooltips. Then, start Paraview, in this case PV+, the extended version of Paraview from PDF3D. Add a data set or 3D model of what you'd like to visualize. Set the attribute properties. If it's a transient case, go to a particular time set. It's also possible to create animations. Open the PDF3D settings change to placeholder mode, select the placeholder that we've just created from Word, apply that, and then we can go to the button at the top on the toolbar saying save as a PDF. Select an output PDF file name, and then Paraview Session will export using both the combined placeholder template report that we've just created and the 3D interactive view. Almost any data can be visualized in Paraview and use this technique for export. For more information, see pdf3d.com.